Hi everyone! Today I wanted to do the mid-year freakout tag. So uh, this is a list of questions that kind of uh, does the first year, part of the year of review of your books. So this year's been very crazy. I've uh, been actually doing a lot of audiobooks and um, arcs, so you might see some of those on these this list. So the first uh, question is best book. So there have been a lot of good books that I've read, but the one that's probably stood out the most is of Curses and Kisses uh, by Sananda Menon. And I really enjoyed it. I love Beauty and the Beast retellings, so this was one of the better Beauty and the Beast re uh, retellings. Um, I did a video on that arc, so I will uh, post it. Uh, I've also read a lot of other arcs that uh, just really stood out to me. And I will be doing videos on those. I was able to get the third book in uh, the Geekerella the Geekerella series, so that was one I really enjoyed. Um, yeah. So best sequel. So a lot. Some of the arcs are sequels, and one of the good, better uh, sequels or part of a series was Well Played uh, by Jen DeLuca. I was able to get that art, and I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, this is a story about a girl. She works at a renaissance fair. She feels like her life is do not going anywhere. And then just the magic of the renaissance fair, and she finds a guy, and it was really cute. So that was probably one of the, the new sequels that I really enjoyed. The next one is new release you want to read. So there is actually no real books that have stood out to me um, that I want to read that are coming up. Um, there is um, one, let's see. Uh, there is Majesty that I, I kind of wanted to read, and uh, I think that was basically the only one that really was on my list. Um, most anticipated, so that's kind of like new release you want to read but haven't, and then most anticipated, that kind of goes on. All the books that I've looked forward to this year, I've been able to get an arc, or they've just come out and I've already been able to read. Um, biggest disappointment. So, there haven't been really big disappointments. Um, most of the books that I've read, I've enjoyed. But the one that, the book that kind of took me a little longer to read was um, My Calamity Jane. I really, really, really enjoy this series. And I really enjoyed the book, but it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, the... I think I like the characters in the other two books better than the characters in here. Um, this is kind of a retelling of Calamity Jane and uh, Annie Oakley, and I think I like Annie Oakley better. Um, but yeah, it just it, it was good, but just wasn't as good as I thought it would be, unfortunately. But I will still read the next series the authors are going to do about Marys. Um, biggest surprise. So, biggest surprise. I think one of the things that I've kind of has surprised me this year was um, authors of books that I didn't think that I would read or like. So, I've been getting a lot of books from like Once Upon a Book Club, which do um, more of the, you know, women's fiction, adult fiction, and I really enjoyed their book picks, so yeah, I think those are the biggest surprise for me, so kind of getting into a different genre. Um, so that kind of goes into the next question, favorite new authors. There's lots of authors that I'm discovering, um, none that stand out to me, but uh, still is nice to discover new authors. Uh, favorite fictional crush and favorite new characters, I think they, those kind of go together. Um, I think my favorite fictional crush is probably Grey from Of Curses of Kisses, and Curses and Kisses, um, 
And uh, another Beauty and the Beast retelling, let me see if I can, um, uh, from Bookish and the Beast. I think those are the ones, the characters I really like, and um, they're just some very cute romantic scenes, so I like those. Um, book that made me cry. There haven't been really any books that made me cry. Um... I tend to avoid those books that I know will. <laughs> um, book that made me happy. I'm going to have to go with Bookish and the Beast. This is the third book in the Ashley Poston series. Um, I will probably be doing a review of this because I really enjoyed it. Um, but this is, whenever I read these books, they just, they make me smile and make me happy. They make me want to go to a Comic Con again. And they're just really cute. Um, I would probably put Bookish and the Beast right after Geekerella, as far as books I liked in that series. Um, book to movie adaptation. Haven't gone to the movies lately. Um, and I don't think there's been any book to movie adaptations that are coming out. Um, I know there are a lot coming out on Netflix, so I will keep an eye on that. I think Babysitter's Club's coming out. If you're into graphic novels, um, the Umbrella Academy's coming out. I think there is a movie, I forget if it's out or not, um, but Women, Women in the Window, a thriller, I kind of want to see that. Um, I haven't seen them yet, but I think those are coming out on demand. So, um, Favorite video that I have done so far this year. I really like my unboxing videos, <laughs> um, and I think the videos um, on tropes, I really like that one. So I will actually link those below um, for you guys to see them, but I, I like watching unboxings that I like. I love uh, the, the hate to love trope, so I think those are the, my favorite videos that I made this year. And the most beautiful book that I've got this year. So I think it's a tie between two. Um, they're both Jane Austen books. So Cut Out Classics, Pride and Prejudice is just so pretty. And then Persuasion from the Folio Society. I'm slowly but surely getting all the books from them. Hopefully I can get the whole series. So just how pretty. Anyway. That was my mid year freak out tag. Um, what books are you most looking forward to next, uh, the second half of this year? Are movies? Uh, let me know in the comments below because I want to know. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. A like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.